Hello everyone, welcome to Stardew Valley Competitive Multiplayer, a new series where I will be up against another Stardew Valley YouTuber who is very talented and goes by the name of Poxio. This challenge will be very simple. Who can earn the most money in 100 days of Stardew Valley? Me and Poxio will be on a co-op farm together, which is the Four Corners layout, but a modded version which splits the farm directly in half, which is ideal for two players going head to head. Pox will own the entire left side, and the right side is mine. We have separate money, both start with 500 gold, and the profit margin is set to default. The fish pond and the quarry have been removed on the Four Corners farm, so nobody gains an advantage. And the blocked off areas are now fully open, so we both can freely access our whole plot of land. The farm cave nope. is out of access for both players, but the greenhouse is already unlocked and is available to use right away but with a slight change. The greenhouse now has a new extension, which is also split in half, so both me and Pox have our own greenhouse space. There are no major rules other than not being able to use the secret wood cheer glitch and no clay farming, which is a glitch that you can obtain hundreds of clay from the beach in a single day. We can make money however we like, as long as it is a legitimate way. And the series will end after the 100th day, in which we will both get together and see who has earned the most total money after those 100 days. This is going to be a cracker, so sit back, relax, and let the competitive multiplayer begin! begin. Too much? Too much? No, no, we need the dramatic tension. Begin! And here we go. It begins. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is do some foraging. Because we are going to be battling for all of this stuff. And there's only so much forage goods around. So if I can get a little head start and get these, I can do all the seeds later on in the day. But I need to go be sneaky and gather all this stuff. This is going to be a good tactic of mine later on. But this is good. This is exciting. I think Pox is already... I think he's already doing some foraging too. Oh, there he is. We're both thinking the same thing. Nope. He's already searched the trash cans too. Oh, we're going to be battling for the forage goods. We're going to be battling for all the goods. He knows what he's doing. His technique's so similar to mine. I thought I might have been smart and had this idea without Pox having the same idea. But it looks like he's also hunting for the forage goods. What? He's got the spring onions. <gasps> what the? Cheeky boy. But look at all these horseradishes. This is what we need, guys. So this is going to be a good technique because we can craft wild spring seeds with these. There's obviously a lot of forage here on the second day. We had to skip through the first day, getting the farm all set up. Making sure everything's uh, looking good. But you can see the little icon there. We can always see Pox moving around. You can see his location if we're in the same area. If he's in a different part of the map, I won't be able to see that. And um, we can also see the bottom left there is health and energy. So you can kind of see what he's up to. Get an idea, and if we bring up the map as well, I can kind of see what he's doing, whereabouts he is at all times, which I think is quite good. But this is going to be exciting. This is a crazy, crazy series. A competitive multiplayer. My format is going to be different to Pox. I am going to be recording episodes. This is going to be quite a long series. It's going to be out for a couple of months. Whereas, if you want to see Poxio's point of view, he will be creating one big video out of this, a 100-day video. You know, we all know Pox likes to do that kind of video style. So all of his POV is going to be watched in one video, one sitting. But that won't release until the final episode of my point of view. So there's no spoilers. So on the final episode that I release, Pox will release his point of view. So you can actually bring up, you know, the winner. You can see who's won. There's going to be no spoilers. So yeah, it's going to be good. Pox has just come back to the farm. I think that was good. I think we managed to get a little bit of uh, forage goods there. We did quite well. Has he gone to the top? No. I think I might quickly just be nosy and go up this side and see if there's any forage goods around here. I don't know if Pox has already took these or not. I don't know if he's been up to the lake and the mountain already. I think he might have been. Because he did come down that way. Quickly what I'm going to do is 2pm. I want to go ahead to the shop quickly and spend the 500 gold that I've got on more parsnip seeds. And yes, I am going to go with parsnips first. Good XP, get that farming level up. Uh, they're very fast. And then when that money rolls in from the parsnips, I'll go ahead and get some different seeds. 
Oh, I can see his energy going. He's working hard on the farm. But yeah, we've just made this in time. I was a little rushed at the start trying to get the recording set up, so I was a little bit uh, worried about time here. But here we go. Let's get some more parsnips. Um, I'll spend all of the money. And that's going to give us 40 in total. I don't want to sell any of these spring goods. But as you can see, a mod that we've got now is Pierre now sells sprinklers. Well, the mines is going to be a problem. You know, we're going to be battling for ore, which might be quite fun in itself. But we now have an extra option. If you want to use your hard-earned money on sprinklers rather than gathering the resources, you can now do that. It's just going to be another option, another tactic, you know, a different play style. It's, it's good. It gives us the, the opportunity to do different things. And also, Robin now sells hardwood as well. Because the secret woods only gives us 12 per day, right? It's not going to be good for us both. So let's get these down. We've got quite a lot of seeds to get through here. And water these in time. But we've got the rest of the evening, the rest of the day. So we should be good here. Looks like he's getting some wood. I can hear trees. I already feel the competitiveness. <laughs> This is quite tense. This is getting the heart racing already. But these are going to be done in four days. We've got the UI info suite mod as well. This might be quite hard to water every single day. But it's needed. We need to get these in the ground. There we go. They're all done, guys. They're all done. I'm probably going to have to craft a chest. We need this wood fast. I've got no storage. But I want to save my energy as well for watering, which is not good. Pox is out of stamina, it seems. I feel his pain. I need a little bit more wood. What's he, what's he up to? What do you want? Get off my farm! <laughs> He's got his eyes on me, guys. He's stalking me. Let's get these watered. Look, I've got stone and clay lying around. Oh, I really don't want him to, to come by and get that. Have I got enough stamina to water? Oh, I might have to eat something. I've got to eat one of these horseradishes. I've got four of them. Is that going to be enough wood now? Please. Yes, 51. Let's go. Chest. We'll get rid of that one there. Guys, we've got our first storage. Amazing. I can put now put these away. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. I've got all this sap that I want to get as well. All the hard work, all my energy. I don't want Pox just to come by and snatch it all. I'm not saying he's like that, you know. I'm sure he's a very fair player. Now, can we water these with the short stamina that we've got? It's probably going to be a no. But one good thing about multiplayer, guys, that I'm going to use to my advantage is get the stamina up by staying in bed. I don't know if Pox is going to use this trick. He's going to come up on screen saying Sharky wants to go to sleep, but I don't. I don't want to go to sleep. I just want the energy. And it's a very, very handy thing to have on multiplayer. And that's just got me by. I've just managed to water all those without having to eat anything. Or sleep. Now, I actually want to know what he's doing here. Is around... Oh, okay. I mean, I should be watching him, but it's, it's interesting. I like being able to use that mod on the map. You can see what he's up to all the time. I think he's doing some late night foraging. Picking some things up that were left in the mad rush in the morning. Now, that is actually going to be a tactic of mine, I think. Basically, go out every single morning and forage. Try and get as much things as we can. But yeah, we're, I'm out of stamina here, guys. And it is super late. I mean, I think I'm done. The stamina's low. There's not really much more I can do. Unless I press no for now. And let the stamina build up. I might be able to clear some more things down. I think Pox is still going strong. So we've got the UI info suite mod. Of course, it's raining tomorrow. Uh, and we've got a little extra luck today. So we're not doing too bad. Right, I've got 50 more energy. So what I'll do is I'll quickly go and chop down uh, another tree here. Get some space. For the farm and get the wood. Wood's going to be super important. I've leveled up the foraging too. Now one rule is, obviously, my side of the land is mine. Pox can't come across and start gathering all my resources. Uh, whatever is on this right side of the map 
here is mine, and that is Pox's on the left. I can fully zoom out as well, which is pretty cool, and I can kind of get a good point of view here. And you can see just how big our space is. You can see Pox's farm on the left there. He's just stood outside his door, and you can see uh, my space here. Right, it is getting super late though, so I'll put those away, and I think I'm going to be ready to sleep for the night. <laughs> but guys, that is officially day one done. I've got the wild seed recipe, which is amazing, and we've got field snacks. Another very, very good thing. Now, we don't have to water today, so this is going to be a race to forage as much as possible. I want to go out and get everything that we can. It's raining. We can go and get the fishing rod as well. Fishing is going to be very good to do. Which I forgot to check the mail. Right, there needs to be something for me here. Something to forage, please. Is there anything? Can't go up there yet. Maybe it'll be best to go straight down to the woods. But I need to use these days to fish when we've got nothing else to do. Oh yeah, the Joja is already done. We are, well, the community center. Because we've got the greenhouse already. I forgot to mention the greenhouse is now unlocked. And we can use that right away if we wanted to. The space is there to use. So we are not focusing on doing any bundles. We're not doing Joja. We're not doing the community center. Checking the trash cans here. This is good. Because this is a battle as well. First one to do that. I could come to the beach. But I want those spring forage to be honest. More than anything. Well here's the cutscene for the rod. So we can start fishing right away. And that's going to be a good way of making extra money here. We've got some wormies. Whatever we find in here we can sell. I'm not going to focus on donating things. That's going to be income right there. Some clay as well. I think Pox might be in the forest. No, he's still on his farm. Interesting. Raining today. Maybe he's, he's got full energy though. So he's not really clearing anything up. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Oh, a field snack. Great find. Good for energy early on in the game. Now, I should have deposited some tools in the chest, which I'm going to go back and do. Especially because if we come down to the forest here and find things, I won't be able to pick them up. Because there's just no space. Now, I'm actually going to come ahead and clear all these weeds. It's a good chance to find uh, fiber, which we need. And, of course, mixed seeds. So, I'm definitely going to be hunting for these. It's going to be an interesting one, this one. Who's going to earn the most money in 100 days? Poxiel is very talented. He knows his stuff in Stardew Valley. He's done many, many videos. Many days or 100 days of Stardew Valley. You know, he knows his stuff. He knows how to make money. He's got good tactics. You know, I've played this game from the very start. I know a lot of stuff. I've got good knowledge. But I never really play competitively. This is something I don't really do. I normally like to play at my own pace, my own time. I don't really rush this game, whereas, you know, this is going to be a rush. We've only got 100 days. We are battling for resources. And uh, right now, I should be fishing to make money. Because it's raining, which I'm going to do, but I want all these mixed seeds because... Pox could come and get all these and, you know, get the fiber, which I'm going to need. It's going to be important for later on. And uh, you'll see why. But also, for the mixed seeds, yeah, it's, this is good. I'm going to clear all these out, and obviously we can clear the stuff on my farm as well later on. But the look is actually not a very good look day today. I don't know if look affects mixed seeds. We've only managed to find two. But I'm more bothered about that fibre, guys. I'm going to quickly jump back to the farm, store some things, and do some like evening, nighttime fishing. There is a spring onion there that I can't seem to... I can't get any of these. This is not good. Glass shards are only worth 20. I'm actually going to delete those. Spring onions are a good food source. So I should be getting those. Good XP as well. I've left two for Pox because I'm nice. They're good quality as well. They're going to be silver or gold. I'm such a nice friend. I'm going to leave those for him, alright? I'm not greedy. I'm not going to take them all. 15's enough. You can have two. <laughs> Sharon's caring and all that, you know? But let's go back. I've got to get some fishing in. Poxiel. I think he's in the town. I think he's going to probably do some fishing as well. Or maybe going to get the rod at least. But all this right side's mine. I've got a lot of fiber down the bottom too. I'm not worried about that too much. 
We can obviously come and clear this farm another day. I'll use my hoe for wormies, siphon the fibers, and the fishing rod. Okay, guys, I think we're good. Let's go and do some fishing in the river. We might have missed out on the catfish today. When does the catfish stop? Is it like 5 or 7 p.m.? And to be honest, the fishing skill's that low, I feel like we're not going to get much anyway. There he is, Poxiel's running through. I love that we just bump into each other every now and then. Now, this is what we need, guys. We need these fibers, too. I don't think Pox has clicked on yet. I don't think he's actually going ahead and getting all of those fibers. And that's a good play from me. Right, let's do our first spot fishing. Very late. I should have done this so much earlier. But when you're in a rush to get the forage and all the fiber, you've got to get out there and do it. Now, this first fish here is a catfish, guys. And I will never lose it. I will never lose this because it's my first fish and it's like a training and I'm pretty sure this is a catfish. This is brilliant. First fish that we catch is a catfish? Come on. Let's go. And that was guaranteed. And that's 200 gold right there. Not good quality. It's always going to be base quality because it's the training. But I was never going to miss that. That would have been amazing if it was gold quality at least. Or even silver. But I'll take it right now. I don't think we're going to hook any more catfish in the time that we've got. I don't need to keep any of these fish for bundles. Because we're not doing that. We're not focusing on that. It's all going to be money. Everything that I make is to sell. Everything that I find is to sell. Oh, Pox is coming to town. This fish doesn't want to go anywhere. It's just staying on the bottom. And it threw me off. What's he doing? What's he doing? I love the little compass there that uh, shows you where he is. It looks like he's going to the beach. When he's in your area or when we're in the same area together, we can kind of see whereabouts we are. Let's try and get perfects. We need those perfect catches for the extra XP or just... Oh, that's a nice shad as well. So I'm kind of going to play through... There's going to be five days per episode. I'm going to play through five days. And I'm going to upload, I think, two episodes per week. So it's going to be a... <laughs> What's he doing? Have you not got stuff to do, Pox? You're wasting time. Yeah, I don't think there's any more catfish. Ooh, our first treasure chest, though. These are going to be good. It's not even a very good look day today. I'd love to find some kind of diamonds in there or something. Even the ancient seed. Oh, what a find. Please, give me something. Leveled up our fishing. Some copper. I will take the copper. Because that's going to be quite hard to, to fight over in the mines. I will take that. I have still got plenty of energy, so I'm not sure if it's worth going back to the farm and clearing up some trees. Or should I just go with fishing all night long? Because we've got a lot of stamina there that I don't want to waste, really. The quality of these fish is not very good. I'm guessing it's the fishing skill. There we go, that's our last fish. Probably going to be a smallmouth bass. Or a bream. There we go, I will leave that there for now. I do want to quickly check something though before we get to the farm. There is another good amount of fibre that we can get next to the community centre. If it's not been blocked off by a stone or something. Now... We've had a good start on the fibre here. Obviously, we've got a ton on the farm. But I managed to obviously find a lot more around as well. Oh, this is not blocked off today. And look at all this, guys. This is going to be good. I don't think we're getting any seeds from this. No, we do. There's one on the floor there. That's incredible. What I could do is eat this green algae. Get that bit of stamina. And go back and chop a tree down before bed. Oh, Pox has actually gone to bed. He's waiting on me right now. But we have got our first fish to sell. But I'm actually going to keep hold of it all. Until we get level 5 fishing. I'll go to sleep. It's way too late in the day. Alright. Weather is... Oh my god, we've got another rainy day tomorrow on the 5th. Clint's here as well. Perfect. We've now got, of course, the blueprint for the furnace. Very good. But yeah, we've actually managed to get another rainy day in there. That's going to help us out massively. I'm going to water these quickly. We've already lost one parsnip to a damn crow. 
and I can't even craft a scarecrow yet. But we do have mixed seeds, which I could fill in that spot there with one of those. And that is actually a parsnip as well. Perfect. So I think today I might spend some time clearing up the farm, hunting for more mixed seeds, getting all my fiber, getting lots of resources, and then do a bit of fishing in the evening again. Uh, craft furnace, visit Gunther. I've currently, we've got zero gold to our name right now. I've not sold anything. So if I want to buy anything yet, I can't. But I want to do a lot of fishing. I want to get to level five, because then we'll get the 25% extra fish. And that's going to be amazing to, to get a good amount of money. Here he is. <laughs> this is cool. I love this. Right, maybe we should do a, another forage again because I'm a bit worried that Pox is going to go out there and get everything. <laughs> and we need to do this. Near enough every single morning. This is perfect. We've got a leak. I'll take that. So the mines are going to be open tomorrow. Which is actually quite crazy. Look at all these leaks, guys. Oh my god. Ha! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> oh! Pox is checking the trash cans and he got caught out. You dirty boy. Oh, Jojo Cola, I'll take that. You're fighting over the trash cans right now. <laughs> this is crazy. This is wild right now. I just don't even know what to do with my time. Like, should I be fishing? Should I be foraging? Should I be clearing the farm? We have got some bubbles here, which I will fully take advantage of. I can't believe we've got another rain day tomorrow. I'm very impressed by that. I love it. Oh, another chest. Is it today a good luck day? I don't actually know. I can't take my eyes off of this. Uh, it looks like we've got a good luck day. Yes, it's green. So we might be able to do some fishing today and get some lucky things. Oh, we've got the sunfish. Nice. More copper? This game. It's been nice to me right now. Maybe that's a sign to say I'm going to do absolutely rubbish in the mines. So it's giving me an head start now. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know what to do with my time here. I should be fishing. Okay, the bubbles are gone. I think the best place to fish is actually up near the mines in the lake. When it's not raining, that is. But we are making a good... I think we're doing all right so far. I think it's not been the perfect start. It was definitely rushed, but it's definitely been a good one. We are getting slightly lucky on some of the forage. Look, we've come down here again for the spring onions. I thought Pox might have took these already. I'm going to drink this Jojo Cola. Get a little energy boost. And then we can get the space for all of these. Oh, that's a great... That's um, unbelievable. That's going to be good food source. We need spring onions to give us energy. It's a very good early game energy boost. They don't sell for hardly nothing. I know this is all about money. And we could sell the whole stack there for 96 gold. But I think it will be more sufficient to actually use those for, for energy. You know, it's, it's more valuable than the 96 gold in my opinion. Especially when you want to do something or do some jobs longer in the day. So one thing that we can't do with the rules, we can't go into the secret woods there by doing the chair glitch. Which, if you know, then you know. We have to go in there legitly by upgrading the axe. And yeah, just to let you know, this is the green... Oh my god! The cheeky boy. No! He's already got some crops growing in there. I wonder why he's using those. Oh, he's clever. He's not going to get battered by crows. But I have actually got a technique that I want to use the greenhouse for. And I'm hoping it's going to work well in my favour. And it's going to be a very, very good tactic. I'm happy to put the parsnips outside in the wild. Yeah, we might lose one or two. But we're getting these mixed seeds here to, to help us out as well. But yeah, we're getting actually a lot of mixed seeds. So I'm going to go and store some things away because I'm not going to be able to get all these. It's a good luck day, so it looks like they're dropping quite a few of them. So yeah, the greenhouse is interesting. I thought I'd put that in there because, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how both of us utilize the greenhouse. Let's clear up some of this farm. Right. Oh, I found our first geode. That's really good. Now, I'm actually not going to break these open. I mean, I could because you can get some coal and resources from them. 
but I think they are worth 50 for one. I'm pretty sure, unless it's an Omni Geode, just sell them all. Omni Geodes always break open. But if it's normal, just get it gone. Get it sold. That's 50 gold right there. Right, I've cleared up a little bit of the farm. Did I get those mixed seeds down here? I, I don't think I did. No, I didn't pick them up. Here they are. Okay, good, good. We got them. Maybe I won't do fishing today. We have got rain tomorrow. So maybe I'll just utilize um, that day for fishing. Although the mines are going to be open and I feel like Pox is probably going to be down there getting everything. Getting a head start on the mines for them, you know, sprinklers, the ore. So I might have to do a bit of hot light off and off. Fishing and mining. I'm making a good dent on the fiber here though. Leaving a few behind so they can spread. And now with the energy I've got, I'm just going to knock some of these trees down here. Get that wood. Let's get rid of these stumps for the extra XP. It's only one, but you know. Might not be able to get all of them. Okay, 50 energy again. I'll take that. Still 1030. I don't know where Pox is. Oh, he's fishing up in the lakes. He's taking advantage of the fishing. Makes sense. He's got a long way to come down, though. Probably a waste of energy getting the stumps just for one XP. But I'm taking them anyway. They look messy, right? But I think we are about done here for the day. How are we looking at resources here? 12 copper ore. We've got the some four clay, bit of stone, lots of fiber. We're doing well with the spring forage goods so far. I could actually plant these rice shoots, you know. Near the pond here. We don't need to water those. Right, I'll quickly go and ship these. Get a little bit of money behind us today. It's only going to be 100. <laughs> but you know what? It's a little bit of something. It's a start. We were rich. We are rich. Our first 100. But don't worry. We've not sold anything yet. Nothing major. I'm hoarding everything. So today is a big day. That rain is incredible. And we've got a sunny day tomorrow. It's a very bad luck day though. And the travel aid is here, which I do want to go down and check, but I've just got no money. So I can't really afford to do that anyway. I think Pox is going down there already. But this is going to give me a good advantage in the mines. Because they will be open now. And it's a shame because it's a rainy day and I could have fished all day. But I do think we need to get down in the mines and just start getting some resources, start working down there. Pox is... Oh, he's on the farm. He might be coming up. Let's hurry up. We can get this leak as well. Does he realize the mine's open today? I'm not sure. It's going to be a battle though. It's going to be a big battle. There it is. It's open, guys. We're now in the mines. Oh, this is tense times right here. Can we get an head start? It's a bad luck day, though. There's a copper node already. Now, if he comes down the mines right now, we're going to be both trying to find the ladders together. But it's going to be first come, first serve to get all the resources. <laughs> so it's going to be such a, a crazy tense time. But it looks like at the moment, I'm down here alone. Is that hard? We've got so much stuff. This is this is gonna be tough to because the space. I should have left the scythe at home. I don't know what I'm doing bringing that. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Why the hell did I bring that? I'm not really fighting the enemies right now. I just want this copper. I'm not gonna lie. Right, we've got the ladder. Is the enemy quartz as good as well? We'll take the quartz. Oh, getting there. Look at the good luck. It says it's a bad luck day today, but I don't believe it. We're finding some geodes. Am I dropping the coal? We really need that coal. I'm going to eat this field snack. To keep us going down longer. We've only got one leak to eat now, so I've got to try and find these ladders quick. But we have got the elevator. The first elevator is unlocked, which is very good. This is what we need, guys. Oh, jackpot appears a few. With a crate, can we get anything lucky? Stone. 
We should get that mining XP up very soon as well. So those silver rocks are good to break. You do get XP from them. Take care of this one. He's guarding it. That was his copper node. <laughs> yes, we leveled up. Good, good, good. So let's try and find the ladder now. At least get our way down. There's another box barrel here. <gasps> Dwarf scroll. I mean, we're not going to be doing that, though. Oh, Topaz, look at the space. Why have I brought the fishing rod? Why have I brought the scythe? This is so annoying, guys. What, what did I do? Why did I do this? I'm going to have to eat this leek. That topaz is very, very important. That's worth some money right there. I did not come prepared. I should have probably built a chest down here as well. 2 p.m. Oh, ladder. Nice drop. See what's in these barrels here and these crates. We've made a good start, guys. We're already on 23 pieces of copper, plus what we've got at home. That's basically our furnace right there. <gasps> Jackpot. Come on. Let's be having you. Look at all of this stuff. 30 pieces and the ladder drop. Yes, we've got the first reward, which is the chest. The rubber boots. We can wear those. It's going to give us a bit of defense. Oh, hold on. Yeah, Poxio should also get those rewards, right? I'm sure that he actually gets those leather boots too. I'm not st stealing them from him, right? <laughs> we need to double check that. Otherwise, no one can get those. I will have to double check that with him. Otherwise, I'll have to take those boots off. And we'll have to just ignore the chests. Can't remember if it's shared or, or not. Is that... A dagger? What kind of sword was that, guys? A carving knife, one to three. It's just not the same. It's not the same. We can sell it for 50, though. It's still 5.30 p.m. I wonder what Pox is doing. It looks like he's fishing. He's, he's, he's going for pure money right now. Which, you know, he's, he's been fishing for two or three days now. He's going to have a very big advantage. So I need to be doing some fishing tomorrow, really. But I've had a good day in the mines. We've made it to floor 10. I've got 30 copper. We've got three geodes. A topaz to sell. You know, we are making some money down here as well. But those resources are going to be important. I want sprinklers on the farm. Especially for summer. I want to get prepared. 10pm. That's not bad. We, had, we did a very good day there. We made some good progress down there. Pox is back on the farm too. He's probably heading to bed soon. But yeah, four geodes, that's worth 200, plus the 80 topaz. Very, very good. We've got some quartz that we can use for crafting, the earth crystal, which is used for crafting as well. But there we go. Let's store everything away. I don't think we can sell much. Just these, it seems. Uh, that's bringing in some good leaks. Anything else we can sell? I want to keep the fish for when I'm level 5. Although well, they are rubbish quality. But it all helps. So, let's get rid of these. And sleep. There's the level 1 mining. Pox has already earned the first 1,000 gold. Obviously, all of his fishing. We've not really sold much just yet. We've been gathering more resources than anything. Oh, damn crow. Got me past. That's two that we've lost. But here we go. This is a harvest day. It's going to be the last day of this episode. Five days per. Very, very good XP here. We've leveled up as well. This is going to be great for money. And now what I'm going to do... Oh, we've got some mail here. Hold on is we're going to water this, prepare the soil, I'm going to go ahead and buy some potato seeds. So I'm going to water this soil ready, because the shop's still closed. We want some potatoes! Okay, so I've just sold all of our parsnips. I've now gone ahead and bought potatoes. We managed to get 34 with the money that we add. Because we didn't really sell much. If I sold more fish, or well, the fish that we had, I probably could have made a bit more money. So I think what I'm going to do is spend a little bit of time just fishing here. Try and make a little bit of extra money. Because I, I want at least 50 potato seeds, really. I don't want anything less than 40 anyway. Because that's what space we've got on the farm. 
I mean, we do have some mixed seeds, but the more potatoes, the better. We need a big plot of land here. And I just didn't manage to make enough money to get more. Now, I know I should be... I said I was going to sell the fish once I was level 5, but that's quite far away. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell all the fish that we've got now. Because we need money. I need more potatoes so then we can get more money for more seeds. So I'm quickly going to head back to the farm, put these seeds down, save some space, get all the fish that I managed to catch, and then do some more fishing. I spent that day in the mines. I don't know if that's a bad thing or bad play, but we did come away with quite a lot of ore and resources, so I don't know if it's worked to my advantage or not. I really need a scarecrow, which I can't even still craft yet. I'm going to lose more potatoes. We have got a catfish too, so it's not all bad. It's not all bad. I think for the remaining time of spring, uh, whilst waiting for the crops to grow, it's going to be lots of fishing. Obviously, we all know fishing is a good way of making money. I was a little slow start with it. I think we need to work on that fishing skill. I want it to get to level 5 at least, so we can get a bit more profit. Right, I'm going to catch one more fish. Oh, can we sell the fish? We can't sell it to Pierre, can we? It's Willy, and Willy's not even open right now. I can't buy more potato seeds, damn it. That is very, very annoying. I've got nothing to sell. This is not good. I kind of messed up today. I feel like I did. I'm going to have to plant some mixed seeds and hope that they give us something. Because we do have quite a bit of mixed seeds at home. I've been collecting them. That's all we've got to do, really. So I'm going to have to sell the fish just this way. And then we've got eight mixed seeds. Okay, I'll take that. That's not too bad. And then we've got space for three more. And to be fair, some of these actually were potatoes as well. And we even got some more parsnips that's going to come up. Good XP. I'll probably just spend the rest of the day now fishing and earning even more money. At least we've got close to 40. Is that 43 crops in the ground there? I'll take it. It's not too bad. I'm going to fish up at the lake today and have all night up there. Yeah, I feel like we've not got a lot of crops in the ground. I mean, I don't even want to go ahead and look at poxes. I know he's using the greenhouse and there was quite a ton of parsnips in there, which he's probably used all that money to buy all the potatoes, plus all the money he's probably earned from the fishing. <laughs> so he's probably got nearly 100 potatoes, I'm guessing, at this point. Oh, Pox is fishing up here too. Yeah, he's doing the big tactic here. I've got no energy though, so I can't fish for too long unless we eat some of the rubbish fish. If it's a carp, I'm eating it. And green algae. I didn't bring any food with me. I'm all over the place, guys. But it's all good. We're getting there. We've got some potatoes in the ground with some mixed seeds. I've got some fish sold, so tomorrow we should have a good injection of money. Plus whatever we do tonight. We've got to hunt for these bullets and these large mouths, but it might be a bit too late for that. The, oh, the fish aren't even biting. What the hell is this? Well, at least we've got some energy source, a Jojo Cola. Oh, this is this sucks. It's taking so long to bite. We've got a chest. Nice, we leveled up our fishing too. And 10 bait, which we can't use yet. We need the better fishing rod. I can just see Pox at the bottom right there. Another chest? Oh, I wanted the perfect catch. I'm gonna have to leave it. Two chests back to back. I'll take it. And it's not even the best look day today. Oh, two iron and a geode. Let's go. We didn't get three back to back. That would have been nice. The quality of the fish is not very good here. I'm going to go for one more. And then we go in. <laughs> we've, got, we've got an audience. <laughs> the pressure's on. All of that waiting for a damn carp. Let's head back home together. Look at that. Back to the farm together. And that's probably going to wrap up the first episode of the competitive multiplayer Stardew Valley series. Hopefully you guys are excited. As much as me and Pox, we are, we are loving this. This is going to be such a good series. And I'm excited to watch Pox's big video as well from his point of view. 
Let's see who can earn the most money in 100 days. See you later, Pox. Good night, my friend. <laughs> right, let's sell all this fish quickly before the night ends. See how much money we managed to turn over for today. Hopefully we've reached our first 1,000 at least. That would be nice. Level 1 for... There's the Scarecrow. Definitely what we needed. Level 2 fishing as well. How much did we make? Yeah, look at that. Our first big amount of money, 1,200 here. Very, very small. Probably aren't, haven't earned too much in the first 7 days here. Well, it was basically 5 days. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the first episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Please smash the like button if you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for another episode. There's going to be about 2 a week. Yes, it's going to be tight. Let me know who you think is going to win and what team are you on. Poxy or Sharky. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.